Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at the total three altcoin charts and we are going to see where it might be headed. Now, for those of you who love trading crypto and would like to try out the same exchange that I use on a daily basis, feel free to go ahead and try out the Blowfin exchange right here with the link in the video description down below this video. I personally love this exchange because they allow anybody from anywhere to be able to sign up and trade crypto futures. So if you are from the United States like I am and you want to trade crypto futures, you can do it right here on the Blowfin exchange. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the total three altcoin market cap chart and see what, we, what we've got going on here. All right, so looking at the macro view here on the weekly chart, we can clearly see that we have got, we have been dealing with this gigantic cup and handle formation that has been going on for quite some time. Uh, pretty much this whole, this whole thing started back in, you know, obviously April of 2022, as you guys can clearly see here, the last leg down of the bear market. And then we kind of consolidated right down here before starting the next first leg of the current bull market. And we are currently going down and we've been going down since about, uh, since about March or April. And we are all hoping that we get one more big giant leg to the upside. That's what we're hoping anyway. And what's cool about what's going on right now is, you know, if this cup and handle does end up playing out, let's see what we can happen here. Okay. So let's just say for shits and giggles, um, let's just say, for instance, let's uh, go ahead and measure this right here. So from the bottom of where this uh, bull market started, we went all the way up to, um, we went up about 145% within that first, within that first leg. So if we were to end up going up another 145% in a new leg up to the upside, we are looking at, oh, geez, I need to make it smaller here. Uh, if we went up another 145% here, let's see, we would end up coming up to right around the $1.32 trillion mark, which would be pretty pretty good, honestly. Um, right around the $1.13 trillion mark is where we topped out at in the last bull cycle. So if we can get up to around the $1.3 or $1.4 trillion mark this cycle, that would be awesome. Especially considering in the last bull market, we ended up having one, two, three, well, we're just going to call it two, two giant legs to the upside before things started to come back down to the next bear market. So if we do end up getting one more to the upside, I'm fully hoping that we do end up reaching around levels of around 1.3 to maybe possibly even $1.5 trillion here. Now, uh, where we are at currently, we have been having some crazy bullish movement lately, re uh, recently within the past couple weeks here, which is awesome to see. Uh, we looks like we finally kind of uh, broke out of this downtrend that we have been in since March, which is very, very nice. But I am personally not going to start getting excited yet because I want to see the altcoin market completely pass up all of these important levels first before we end up uh, before we end up starting to get excited to move. Uh, even further to the upside. Now, we did end up passing this first critical level here of around $627 billion. And as you guys can clearly see, we did that in one full weekly candle. Actually, I'm pretty sure we ended up doing that on the, on the day that we crossed it. I'm pretty sure we ended up actually doing it in one daily candle alone. So, Realistically here, if we can get this uh, weekly candle closed above the $627 billion mark, that is going to be awesome because then the next weekly candle, we have a good chance at potentially breaking through this next critical area of $662 billion, as you can see right here on my chart. Now, the one after that, the next level after that is right around $720 billion, as you guys can clearly see right here. And this is an area where we did end up having a double top on the daily charts uh, back when it did end up happening. So I would assume that there's going to be all kinds of pretty pretty good size resistance at that level when once we do end up getting there. And I fully expect that once we do get there, we will probably end up coming back down and bouncing down a little bit before we actually gain enough momentum to be able to go even higher and break through it and head upwards towards the current cycle high here of 700 and right around 787 billion dollars or so but overall here with the election coming up and with uh you know um you know our countries cutting interest rates and the u.s cutting interest rates recently um you know hopefully we are going to start seeing an influx of capital being thrown into the um thrown into the crypto market here so that we can actually see another big leg to the upside. The only thing that we are currently missing in this current bull cycle right now is major, major big time retail. All right. Now I know this is one of those things that 
that you really can't expect from, you know, you, you realistically, you, you don't know if it's going to happen or not. But in the last bull market, you know, there are a lot of people that ended up getting burned. And there were a lot of people who think that, you know, crypto is a big time scam now because they ended up getting burned. So there's probably a lot of retail out there that will not be entering um, the crypto market ever again uh, for, for good reason, obviously. But realistically, overall here, um, there is a good chance that we will end up seeing another big leg to the upside. And if that does end up happening, my whole thesis on this is that we end up reaching upwards in this area right up in here between 1.3 and 1.5 trillion dollars at some point in time. So uh, overall here, guys, I am going to go ahead and also do a Bitcoin price update video next um, as well. So be on the lookout for that also. And on top of that, um, I did actually end up closing my old uh, my old Twitter account for my altcoin radar YouTube channel and the reason why is simply because there were just way too I, I accumulated way too many bot followers over the years and I'm one of those people where I really don't give a shit about how many followers I have um, but I do not want my account filled with all kinds of bot followers so I ended up getting rid of it and I ended up opening up a new uh, personal account right here and as you guys can clearly see here my account is at Garrett under underscore n underscore stuff so if you want to go ahead and follow me feel free to do that and i'm also doing a personal challenge right now in my discord server uh, where i am basically um, I started with $5,000 at the beginning of September and I am compounding my profits in every single trade and I am trying to reach a specific level within one year. The goal is to uh, make at least 3% per day every single day on a consistent basis and compound those profits over time throughout the entirety of one full year. And so far, I haven't lost a single trade yet throughout all of September. So if you'd like to follow along, uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter here and send me a direct message and ask me for a link to the Discord, and I'll go ahead and send you a link to join the Discord server. But other than that, you guys, um, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So before I go ahead and wrap this video up, for those of you who, um, you know, go ahead and hit the like button below the video, leave me a comment be below the video on your personal thoughts on where you think the overall mar market cap is going to go here with all coins here in the long term. And with that said, guys, for those of you who stuck around and watched this video throughout the whole thing, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope to see all of you in my future videos.